Alright, now you've got your three ESCs with the Simon K firmware. Um, and what you need to do is now we need to to make the battery wires longer um, so they can fit the frame. And what we need to do is we need to make them about 50 centimeters long. So you're gonna take some 16 gauge wire. I just ordered these from Hobby King. You can get them in one meter size. You'll probably get two meters because it's 50 centimeters each. Um, and then you're gonna measure it and lay these out you're going to measure it 50 centimeters here and just take a uh, wire cutter and um, cut it where you mark the 50 centimeters which is there so cut it there and put the rest of it aside so you've now got 50 centimeters here approximately 50 centimeters there and you're going to do the same one with the red wire of course and now you've got 50 centimeters of the red wire as well you now need to um, take one of the ends and one of your ESCs And you need to unsolder these two wires um, just by applying some heat. So you just need to solder on the extended wires. Just unsolder the old one and solder on the extended wires uh, at the plus and minus spots. And do that to all three ECs. Right, so now you've got all the uh, EC soldered and extended the wires. You want to go ahead and one EC at a time, of course. Um, just uh, make room so you can see what I'm doing, like this, and then cut out or just um, unisolate it, you could call it as well unisolate all the negative wires and don't twist this, this tw twist them this time and go ahead and do that to all your ESCs um, approximately the same length because now these wires should be connected together so you can take all the ESCs and just just keep the negative wires like this and then we want to twist them together so we want to mix those up and then just make them fit together so they won't and I'm gonna go ahead and mix them together to make one nice just untwist the wires like that and then take some uh, thin welding wire and start by just connecting it around this just cut it off right where it doesn't connect any longer cut it off like that and now get a helping hand Then tin this, and you need a lot of tin since it's three wires connected together. So pre tin your soldering iron, leave that's enough. And then just ouch, don't touch it. And then do the same for the three red wires. And then twist these three red wires together. Get a helping hand. Again, so 
absorber and some heat. So we now you've got all your free ECs connected and now we're going to solder on a connector to connect to your battery. I use the word connect a lot first. Here. We'd want to add some heat shrink. So you want to get a helping hand again. Helping you with the connector. And a good tip is to um, connect two. Just remember which one you're going to solder. Because then if you, when you add a lot of heat to these, um, they might melt the plastic and they might move so you can't attach the other one. Um, so if you whoops, attach these two while you solder, these won't move. And um, remember to add heat shrink to the wires before you're going to solder. Because um, if you do it afterwards, you can't really get it on there. And that's, that's really a pity if you do that. So you want a helping hand to help you out. <laughs> Sorry. And then fit this in here. And remember where the minus and plus are. So I'm going to solder the plus first. So I'm going to add heat. So you've okay. now got your plus wires soldered onto the connector. And we're now going to do the negative wires. Attach a lot of solder. So that was um, the ECs and soldering. Just attach the heat shrink. Um, yeah, well, to all your exposed areas, meaning these two and all your spots in the ECs, all your bullet connectors, and also on your on your. Um, what's it called? Uh, your motors, the bullet connectors and the motors as well, which you also need to solder on. Um, but I assume that was too, too basic to uh, to to make a tutorial on. So um, that's it for this tutorial. Um, thank you and uh, subscribe, please. That'd be helpful. But uh, bye.